Hi friends! This week we're going to be talking all about insects and the life cycle of a butterfly. And this story has amazing illustrations. I hope that you will enjoy it. It talks about all different kinds of butterflies and what makes butterflies unique. The story is called, A Butterfly is Patient. Hmm. I know that sometimes when we were at school, the teacher said, you have to be patient. It's almost time to go to centers or we need to be patient. We're going to have snack time soon. I'm sure you heard that at home sometimes too. So a butterfly has to be patient because sometimes it's ready to come out of that chrysalis, but it's not time yet. So they have to wait until it's their turn to come out of their chrysalis and come into the world. The story is written by Diana Hutz Aston and Sylvia Long. They also drew all the pictures of the butterflies that you will see. This butterfly right here is a great purple hair streak. It's a different name for a butterfly. Let's see what other butterflies we're going to learn about in this story. Oh, wow, look at this one. I wonder what this represents. Hmm, different sections of something. This looks like it could be wings. Hmm, so pretty. Different little designs on it speckles, lines. Wait, this looks like they're different caterpillars. Oh, that's right, because butterflies are caterpillars first. So these are all different types of caterpillars. And then you'll see how they turn into butterflies. Here's a sw zebra swallowtail. Look at all these different colors. Some of them have little dots, some of them have stripes, some have like little fuzz. This one's called Great Purple Hair Streak. <laughs> this one's called Common Bird Wing. You might know this one, Monarch. We see those butterflies often. This one down here is a Zebra Long Wing. This one's called Lime. Just like lime that you can put into drinks or you can make different things with. This one's called a Lace Wing Peacock. I love all these different pictures in the story. And here's our title page, A Beautiful Butterfly. Hmm, looks like maybe that caterpillar had a little bit to eat on that little leaf. It was a little bit hungry. A butterfly is patient. It begins as an egg beneath an umbrella of leaves, protected from the rain, hidden from creatures that might harm it until the caterpillar is inside chews free from its egg case. So that's the outside of the egg, the egg case. And then tiny wingless, and it's hungry to grow. It's ready to grow. So an egg is how the caterpillars, the butterfly starts, and then it becomes a caterpillar, and then it has a little chrysalis it turns into, and then into the butterfly. So it's patient, it has to wait patiently. And this shows you a picture of how it is creative. So look at the different colors of this common buckeye. It shows you how little it is when it's an egg and how it changes from one day to 15 days to 21 to 26. And then by 38 days, this butterfly is fully grown. A butterfly is creative. A caterpillar feeds on its leaves, eating so much that it must molt, which means to shed its skin. So the caterpillar has to shed its skin, and then it can grow to 30 times larger than when it took its first bite. So it's gonna go ahead and eat as much as it can until it's ready to create a protective covering called a chrysalis. Then it curls inside while its wings grow. Now it's time for metamorphosis, which that's an awesome word. Metamorphosis means change from one form to another. So it changes from an egg to a caterpillar, caterpillar to a chrysalis, chrysalis to a butterfly. Metamorphosis, that's a great word to learn. Remember, this is called a chrysalis. A butterfly is helpful. Butterflies like bees help pollinate plants so that they can reproduce or make new seeds. As a butterfly flits from one flower, that means to jump or to fly from one flower to another, it sips nectar, that sweet, sweet drink that we talked about. And as it goes from one to another, then it leaves and pollinates the other plants. 
And bees also really love to enjoy that nectar too. Look at all these beautiful flowers in this picture. So they help others by pollinating other flowers. A butterfly is protective. Butterflies use their wings to protect themselves from predators or people look, other animals looking to hurt them. So it could be they're afraid that sometimes people come near them, so they take and protect themselves with their wings. They bring them close and close in. Or sometimes they use their markings on their wings called eye spots. Scientists don't know what they are used for, perhaps to scare away predators. Hmm. So sometimes they have to be protective. They have to make sure that they have their wings ready to protect themselves, to protect their, maybe even their loved ones, like their little family. Look at this one. This one looks like it could just be a leaf. It's called an orange oak leaf. This one's cool. It really does look like the name it is. It's an owl one, an owl butterfly. Here's the peacock butterfly. Oh, and a grasshopper friend saying hi. Wings can help butterflies camouflage or hide, blend in themselves in the environment. So sometimes they use their wings to blend in if there's a predator coming nearby. Sometimes they use their markings to scare people, scare other predators. And a peacock butterfly does something unique when someone's coming near it. It makes a hissing sound like sss. And they rub, it's by rubbing their wings together and it causes that sound to alarm and for other predators or other animals to go away sound so they can, can protect themselves and camouflage or blend in. A butterfly is poisonous. The warning colors of some butterfly wings are yellows, reds, orange, whites, and blacks. This tells predators that they are poisonous or bad tasting. This monarch right here, butterfly, and a pipeline swallowtail which is right here, these eat poisonous plants, like you see here. And they eat at them as caterpillars, so sometimes they have poison that causes other animals to get sick if they eat them, or if they eat these plants, they can get sick. So sometimes some butterflies are poisonous and some are not poisonous. You have to just learn which ones are by their colors. Birds and other insects have learned not to eat them because of this. Wow, oh my goodness. A butterfly is spectacular. Oh my, I just, this page is so beautiful. Look at all these different types of butterflies. This one's called an Anna's 88, a Rudy Dagger wing, a common bird wing, blue morpho. Wow, I just, all I can say is wow about this page. A painted Jezebel. Spectacular can be like amazing, magnificent, wonderful. A butterfly is thirsty. To find flowers, butterflies smell the air with their antenna. They taste with their feet, but sip nectar. Oh wait, I have to say that fact again. To find flowers, butterflies smell the air with their antenna and they taste with their feet. Oh, that's so, that's such a cool fact. And they sip nectar like we were talking about. They're helpful because they take the nectar and they pollinate other plants and other flowers. The sweet liquid produced by many flowers and it's kind of tastes like Gatorade, like we had talked about the other day. Some butterflies get their nourishment from fruits or minerals. This one's called a common morphin. This one's a blue bottle. It's another blue morphin. That's a common morphin. It's amazing how many different types there are. A butterfly is big or tiny. This butterfly is called a Queen Alexandra's birdwing. And this one is called an Iranian small blue. This one, Queen Alexandra's birdwing is the largest butterfly in the world. And this is the smallest one. And it comes from Afghanistan. That's where this type of butterfly comes from. And there's a little dot right there that shows you where Afghanistan is. And this is where we live, right here. In Florida, Tampa, Florida, in the United States. 
This one is only about the size of a grain of rice, so just a little, little piece of rice. Not even an inch long. And you can see the difference in the size here. And it shows you where this butterfly is originates from in New Guinea. A butterfly is scaly. A rainbow of shiny powdery scales covers the wings of a butterfly. Scales stack like shingles on a roof. And you can see the wings of this butterfly look very similar to, let's see if it's the same. Look, the wings of this butterfly match. Wow, it looks the same, almost exactly the same on both sides. Without scales, its wings would be as transparent as the wings of a bee or a dragonfly. So if it didn't have the texture, the scales that a butterfly has, you wouldn't be able to tell what insect it is. The colors, patterns, and shape of a butterfly's wings have a purpose. Some use their pattern of colors to attract mates, like for them to reproduce or to have more families. In places where the climate is cool, dark scales absorb. Hmm. Butterflies are able to have a body temperature of 86 degrees to fly, which is pretty similar to what humans have to have to be healthy, to grow. A butterfly is not a moth. Butterflies and moths belong in the same family of insects. They are the only insects with scaly wings, but they are different as well. Hmm, let's check this out. This is called the Luna. This one's called a Diana Fritteri, Valeri, a morning cloak and a zebra long wing. A butterfly is a traveler. Most butterflies such as the red admiral or the common buckeye migrate, that means they go a short distance to find a warmer place. But some like the monarch travel far. So that some butterflies like to stay close by and some like to travel far like the monarch, which we see often. How pretty this page is. Look all these monarchs traveling around their family or friends. A butterfly is magical. Monarchs gather in huge numbers in the forests of central Mexico waiting for spring. That's when butterflies are seen or it's springtime. You see lots of butterflies during this time. Then they fly north to North America hmm. where they lay their eggs. Now it's time again for a metamorphosis for the life cycle of the butterfly to start again, to go from an egg, to a caterpillar, to a chrysalis, to a butterfly. A butterfly is patient, just like our title of our story. The egg hatches, then the caterpillar emerges. It feasts on leaves, that means it eats a lot of leaves, before it wraps itself into its warm, protective chrysalis. And then it patiently waits. You can see little eggs, how it emerges and comes a caterpillar, comes out, then it, look, it eats and eats and eats and grows and grows and grows. It likes to eat a lot of leaves. And then it's gonna turn into that chrysalis. And then it's time to soar. Soar means to fly, to go enjoy its life as a butterfly. This type of butterfly is called a great purple hair streak. That's that one we talked about earlier. It's kind of a funny name still. Hair streak, like a line. And then here are all different types of butterflies. Check out these, all the different ones. This one's a moonlight jewel. We talked about a common but buckeye earlier. Here's the smallest one right here. Iranian small blue. I'm gonna go back to that page where it showed the largest, the biggest butterfly in a little bit. Here's a peacock. A rudy dagger hill wing and a swallow tail. That one really does look like a zebra. So does that one. It has those black and white stripes. And this is the same picture we began with. The beginning of our story. 
the wings of that butterfly. Have a nice day.